Hello and welcome to Ben Rosser's Conservatorium of Audio. I'm Ben Rosser and today we're going to be taking a look at some more free plugins. We've got a few different ones to have a look at today, all freely available from the manufacturer's websites. So we'll get stuck into having a look at those. The first one we're going to have a look at is one of a series of free plugins which is available from Blue Cat Audio. These ones are available for both Windows and OS X and also support 64-bit Windows and are available in VST, DirectX, RTAS and AU formats. So fairly flexible there and sure to be able to suit most people's setups. The one we're going to have a look at is our frequency analyzer. So we're just going to chuck that one on there. Frequency analysis can be a very handy thing, especially when you're first getting into production and engineering, as it can start to give you a bit of a good idea about where different frequencies of different sounds are sitting, and can help you to EQ them and to play with them a little bit better, as you'll have more of an idea of where the different parts of the sound sit in the frequency spectrum. So, as we can see, this one's quite a fully featured one, and has a fair few different controls to allow you to adjust how the display is coming up on the frequency analyzer. So we'll just grab a random loop and we'll chuck that through there so that you can see it working. So unfortunately it's updating a little bit slowly at the moment due to the video capture software, but you'll find it is a lot more smooth when you're using it just to when you're working with your, your audio. So I'd recommend checking this one out simply because it can be really, really handy, as, as I said, especially when you're getting to the mixing stage, especially when you're dealing with, with things like trying to work out where a kick drum is sitting relative to where the bass instrument is sitting so that you can prevent those from fighting with one another over the frequency spectrum. And as I said earlier, there's plenty of different controls to allow you to adjust how this will actually work. So you can choose to view either the left or right channel. As you can see those guys coming up there and we can remove the average just so that we can see the left and right channels on their own. As you can see there. And you can also choose to show the maximum or the average levels as well, which can be quite handy. So a fair bit of control over that one. You can also choose whether or not you want to show the instant curve or the peak curve or both. So, for example, if we just show the instant curve, you're just seeing it as it's happening. Whereas if we show the peak curve, you're basically just seeing where the peaks in the sound are. As we can see, some of those peaks coming up as the loop keeps playing. You can also change the opacity of the window, which is quite handy, as you can see. So, if you needed to be able to see what's going on behind the plugin as well, and if you're a little bit low on screen real estate, it can be a really handy thing. So we'll just turn that back up. And you do also have a few other controls to adjust the responsiveness of the, the frequency curve. As well as one of the handy features that I really like to use is the freeze feature. So if you wanted to just take a snapshot of a particular point in the sound and be able to see what is happening with the sound just at that point, you can just hit the freeze button and I'll show you what that one does. Just get rid of the, the peak mode for the moment. So as we can see, if we freeze it, we do get quite a nice snapshot, so we can get really in depth with the, the frequencies we're dealing with there. So that's our Blue Cat Frequency Analyzer, and as I said, it does come as part of a uh, full package of free plugins from Blue Cat Audio. As you can see, there's Chorus, Flanger, Phaser, Stereo Chorus, Stereo Flanger, and EQ, and a, a widening plugin as well. So there's a fair few there for you to try out. So I'd recommend 
downloading those ones and, and having a look through them because there is some quite handy stuff there. The next plugin we're going to have a look at is Isotope Vinyl. You've possibly heard of this one already. It's a very good plugin and typically used to simulate the sound of an LP or vinyl being played back. So if you've got a loop or something that you want to sound like it's coming from vinyl, then this plugin's quite good for that. So for example, if we just play that break again, you can adjust the year of the turntable that you're using. And as you can see, the further back in time you go, the more frequencies it's pulling out. And you can also adjust various other elements, including mechanical noise, the wear of the LP, electrical noise, as well as dust on the LP. And you can control the amount of that as well, and the amount of scratches and the intensity of those scratches using the slider. You can also select between mono and stereo, and there's also a bypass control, as you can see. And as far as the dust and scratches and the mechanical noise and a few other elements, you do also have the ability to control the RPM of the turntable in order to get it to sound as accurate as possible. And as we can see, you've also got typical input and output gain controls. So, for example, if we wanted to get this to sound a little bit older, might go for 1950, 45 RPM. As you can hear, that's what the mechanical noise does. The wear tends to pull out some of the high frequencies a little bit more. It's an example of what the electrical noise can do. Got some dust and scratches in there. Just turn those guys back down. One of the things I really like to use this plugin for more than anything is more as a filter. Generally, when I'm using it on my productions, I don't tend to use a lot of the mechanical noise or any of the other noise elements that make it sound more like a turntable. I tend to just use the ear knob as if I'm trying to make something sound older, I tend to find that is a little bit easier than using any other filtering method. You do need to register with Isotope to be able to get this one, but it's a fairly pain-free process and doesn't take very long at all. This one's also available for both Windows and OS X, and again, it's available in a variety of formats, including VST, DirectX, RTAS, and AU. So there's pretty much something for everyone there.